Hello all, my name is Krishnaik and welcome to my YouTube channel guys. So we will be continuing the advanced Python series and I hope you are liking these videos guys. Uh, in my previous video, already you can see in the playlist, in the complete uh, machine learning playlist, you can see this after oops tutorial had uploaded exceptional handling and custom exceptional handling. Now after this, this particular video will get uploaded that is about public protected and private variables. Now this is very very important and yes we have started discussing about oops concept that is object oriented programming. Here in the next video and all we will also be discussing about inheritance, we will be discussing about decorators, we will be discussing about how to do multiple inheritance and lot of things right. To begin with we are basically going to start with public protected and private variables, we will try to see how do we define them. And what is the exact use of it we'll try to see it guys before going ahead with respect to this particular video this video has been sponsored by unacademy so unacademy has come up with its three main program that is indian programming camp beginner track and then the same camp is for the intermediate track and the advanced track in this particular track it is a three-day programming camp by code chef to enable learners to better their programming skills an academy have live classes and problem solving by some of the top rated programmers in the country and this is going to be completely for free it is going to start in two days so definitely check out the batch preview and plan by clicking on the link and for those new to the unacademy platform check the amazing free classes for all the level of coders which can be accessed by the links that is given in the description of this particular video if you're watching free classes Treat that as a test ride and commit to the course once you find out relevant to your goal. Remember the code that is krishnaik06 and kn06 for free content and subscription. All the information regarding this is provided in the description of this particular video. So guys, please do have a look and yes, utilize this opportunity. So to begin with over here, we are going to define a class car. And then we are defining a constructor. This is basically called as a constructor or a initializer method where I'm creating, uh, I'm passing three parameters that is windows, doors and engine type. Okay. Then here inside it, what I'm going to do is that I'm creating three variable that is windows, doors and engine type. This is the variable that is present inside the car uh, class. And then we are assigning this particular values here. So this is a very, very simple class. If I really want to initialize it, what I'll do, I'll say that, okay, uh, I'm going to take an example of Audi. Audi is an object. Probably they can take the blueprint of this particular car and we are going to initialize it over here. And number of windows, suppose it is four, then number of doors is four. I'll say five and then my engine type is basically diesel, right? So this is my diesel engine type, right? So after this, uh, what will happen is that if I try to execute it and if I try to see what is Audi, this is basically an object of a car at which is stored at this specific memory location, which we have already seen in our previous video over here, where we had discussed about oops tutorial classes, variable methods and objects, right? We have also shown that how we can define methods inside this and all. But over here in this particular video, we'll focus on public, protected and private. And considering this guys here, you can basically say that whenever we define variables like this, you know, where we are just providing the name, we basically call this as public variables. This basically means that wherever we use this, wherever we initialize this particular car, we can definitely use all these particular properties because it is defined in a public way. Okay. Now the problem is that you may be confused. So how do we define protected and private? Let me tell you one thing guys, in other programming language like Java, like C sharp, whenever we define public protected and private, those are quite strongly typed. I'll tell you what this basically means, you know, in Python, you know, they will never restrict you to create a public protected and private variables instead, like how we do it in other programming language like Java and C sharp. You know, in Java and C sharp, whenever you're defining a public protective private variables, that functionality will be quite restricted in Python. It is not like that. Once you define it, probably it can be overridden. Why I'm telling you, let's see now over here, we have defined this particular public variable. So I'll, I'll just say that all my, all the class variables are all the class variables are public, right? Now considering this, what we are going to do is that let's try to define a protected variable. Okay. All the class variables are protected in order to create protected variable. All I have to do is that I just have to make this variable name with underscore. Okay. With underscore and with underscore something like this. 
And before this guys, after I create this particular object, what I'll do is that suppose I have created this class with the public variables. If I go and search for DIR of Audi directory of this particular Audi, it is going to give me all this particular functionalities that is present over here. I'll not say functionalities, but I'll just try to say that what all attributes are present inside this. Now here you can see that there are three attributes which is defined as a public and it does not have any underscore. But here you can see that there are underscore, 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 underscore over here, right? So whenever we have this kind of attributes that are present inside this particular object, we basically say that these all are public variables and it can be accessed from anywhere. It need not be that it has to be a subclass of a specific class and all, right? So it can be definitely accessed over here. Now, in order to define this as a protected variable, I just have to add this underscore, right? Once I add this particular underscore, it is being treated as a protected variable. Now, it is not like you cannot access this. You can usually protected variables. They say that it can be accessed only from subclasses. Suppose there is a class which is inheriting this particular class and if we try to create an object of that particular class, we will be able to access this. But in this particular scenario, as I said that Python never restrict something, you know. So let's let's uh, create this. Now here, let me just create the same object like Audi and here I'm just going to take car and my first parameter is 4, the second parameter is 4 and the third parameter is suppose I say diesel, okay, diesel engine type. And if I print directory of Audi and now if I execute it here you can see that still I'm able to see this doors engine type and windows so whenever you are trying to use this as a mechanism if whenever you are trying to use a subclass which is inheriting this particular class obviously this will be able to use all these particular parameters but again I'm telling you it never restrict you for doing this it can be overridden and why public why public is basically used guys you can override this particular features you know you can override probably uh, what you can do is that after creating this right let's let's see let's take this particular example suppose i'm creating this and this is my audi car if i want to see the variable of audi dot windows or windows i'll be able to execute this suppose i want to inherit this or i have to override this like this i can also do that overriding technique because it is defined as a public variable so if i write go and write uh, Audi dot windows I'll be able to see five right but in the case of protected they say that the overridden should only happen from your subclass okay subclass basically means the child class whoever is inheriting this particular class from there only overridden should happen that that is a sign for a developer whenever the variables are basically written in a protected format Okay, so that basically means suppose uh, this particular car will be getting inherited by another class at that time if we really want to use this variable and override it that basically means only the overriding functionality will be available in the subclass. Okay, so after this here you can see that suppose I, I can create one more class over here. Okay, I can create one more class over here. Suppose I say that let me make a class of truck. Okay, and probably I'll talk about uh, inheritance and all but let me define quickly over here what exactly I'm trying to tell you so here also it will be having this initialization constructor and I'll say self uh, and suppose I'll say this all parameters I'll be using it since I'm going to inherit it suppose this truck is going to inherit car class okay I'll talk about inheritance in my next video let me just give you a simple example over here so truck is basically inheriting car class and then it is going to use all these properties of windows doors engine type and suppose the uh, the truck has uh, suppose one more parameter that is horsepower okay so suppose this is my additional parameter that is present in the truck okay so this is the new parameter now what i'll do i'll go inside this and all my Suppose I want to inherit all these particular parameters like windows, doors, engine type from my car. I just have to write super dot underscore in it underscore. And here I just have to specify windows comma doors comma engine type, right? And then I will just say self dot horsepower and I'll assign this to my horsepower. Okay. This just to show you guys what is the main functionality of protected okay i'll just execute this now this has got executed now what i'll do is that i'll just create my truck variable now inside my truck i'll just create a object like this and here i will say that okay the first parameter is windows i'll say four four 
engine type is basically diesel i know that and horsepower suppose i say fine it is like uh, 4000 rpm okay 4000 rpm and now if i go and see my directory of truck and if i execute it here you'll be able to see that i will be able to see all the parameters like engine type horsepower and windows now you are not able to see it this one guys let me just execute this because now see i'm getting all this as a public type the reason why i'm getting this as a public type probably i had executed this class which were public right all the variables were public let me just do this once again and this car and now I'll just execute it. Now, if I go and see the directory of truck, I'll be able to see that, okay, I find doors, engine type and windows. Now, whenever I'm defining this protected variable, it should give an indication to the developer saying that only the child class truck can override this particular values. Okay. So if, 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 if this truck variable needs to be overridden, then what we'll do, we'll just write truck dot horsepower instead of horsepower. Let me just override the protected variable like this doors is equal to suppose i'll make it as five and now if i go and see my trucks truck dot underscore doors you'll be able to see that i'm getting five only remember guys if you are a good developer you should exactly know when how, where the public variable can be overridden where the public values can be overridden where the public variables how it is declared right in case of public you can change the value wherever you want but in case of protected, you have to make sure that you have to just change this value only where only where your subclass is present and that particular subclass is basically inheriting your parent class. I hope it is making sense entirely, right? Finally, we have this particular private variable. For the private variable, we basically say that it cannot be inherited from or it cannot be overridden or accessed from anywhere right it cannot be accessed from anywhere again with respect to access we also say this as an access modifier public variables can be accessed from anywhere protected variables can only be accessed from the subclass or the child class whereas private we cannot access it so how do i define this so let me just take this particular example uh, i'll just copy this and again guys all these materials will be given in the description of this particular video in the link and here instead of writing underscore i'll write just write double underscore double underscore now Remember, every time we were using a uh, direct of that particular object, suppose I'll say Audi is equal to car. And here I'm going to define my first parameter, my second parameter and my diesel parameter. Now, once I execute it, you'll be able to see Audi, right? Uh, if I write director of Audi, now if I go down and check it out, you'll be able to see that I don't have any parameters like this door windows or underscore engine type right i don't have like how i used to have over here you can see over here right i have this particular parameters now where did those parameter go since it is a private variable this is basically telling now this variables will be defined something like this underscore car underscore underscore doors underscore car underscore underscore engine type underscore car underscore underscore windows this basically shows that to a developer to an experienced python developer Okay, to experience Python developer, this is an indication from the team that this variable cannot be accessed or modified from outside of this particular class. Okay, from outside of this particular class, that basically means during the initialization only we can put this particular values. After that, we cannot change the value. This is the most important thing to understand from public, private and protected. And this was an example of private. Okay, this is very, very important guys. Again, if you really want to modify it, we can do it. See, if I write Audi dot underscore car underscore doors, if I go and execute this, this is four. I can definitely override it. There is no restriction. See, there is no restriction. But in Python, as I said that nothing is restricted over here. This is a hint. This is a hint. Whenever I see director of Audi, this is basically a hint. This, 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 this variables is basically a hint saying that it can not be accessed or modified outside this specific class. In case of protected, we basically say that this variable can only be accessed and modified in the subclass. And in case of public, it can be accessed and modified anywhere you want. Now, this was an example of public, private and protected. I'll provide you the entire thing in the GitHub in the description of this particular video. I hope you like it. Please do subscribe to the channel if you have not already subscribed. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day ahead. Thank you one and all. Bye bye.